Hello there. This is my last effort at uh, doing some 3D. I think I've cracked it. I hope you'll agree. Um, I've The bit of film that follows is filmed with two iPod Nanos. My wife's and mine. Christmas presents, okay? And you can see I'm just holding them together with two little bits of cardboard, two rubber bands, and you can see the one camera is about there, isn't it? And the other camera over there, okay? And on the front of the nanos, you just fire up the um, the video camera software. Just press the the central. Where is it? Here. Press the central wheel to start. Press that central button to start. Click your fingers. Let me do that like that. And that allows you to find the same point on both bits of video. Okay. Now, please don't expect the following video to be very interesting. Uh, there's no attempt made to edit it nicely. When I'm filming music, it's very difficult to get a nice result. Okay. Um, but it's put here so that you can see what you can achieve just by using a couple of simple little video cameras like this. Um, and for people to discuss, you'll see, for example, when things are a long way away from the cameras, the 3D effect is, is not very impressive. When things are too close to the cameras, the 3D effect can be quite uncomfortable to view because this camera, let me turn it around, the, uh, this, where, where can you see, can you see there? Um, right, this camera here will see something which this one here doesn't see. And your brain has a problem with that, okay? But there's no special software used. I just put both bits of film into QuickTime Pro, put them side by side, and upload straight to YouTube. No stereo movie maker, no nothing. Okay, that's enough of me rambling on. Hope you find it interesting to see what you can achieve just with basic kit like this, some cardboard, some rubber bands, and, you know, a friend with an iPod Nano. Okay, bye-bye.